Hey guys, uh, Aaron here again with uh, another quick fountain pen review. Um, and uh, today, um, I just wanted to kind of show this other Eversharp pen that I got. And um, this pen um, actually didn't require too much um, as far as cleaning it up and, and everything else. Um, the main issue was some of some of the aesthetics as far as the barrel had a lot of um, scratches on it. And I was able to buff out um, some of those. You'll notice that there's some surface pitting here. Um, and it doesn't really look like teeth marks or anything, but they're just little tiny marks in there. And I'm sure, you know, pins get thrown in drawers, they in and out of pockets for a, a long period of time, people chewing on them, a multitude of things capping, uncapping, you're just going to get scratch marks everywhere. Um, and this barrel definitely had that going on, which you, you generally see with a lot of your darker barrels anyway, especially black. Um, it's one bad thing about having a, a vintage black pin is generally you're going to see just about every scratch and nick. Um, but it cleaned up pretty well and, and polished up. Um, I was able to use my, uh, uh, buffing pads that I, I got from uh, from Anderson Pens. These things work really good, by the way. Um, and just some micro mesh, and then some Novus Two on it, um, which really kind of gave it a little bit of a, an additional um, cleaning, as well as um, to get some of that residue left over from the micro mesh, um, and then polished out nice, and then finished it off with some Renaissance wax. Um, and then, of course, I used some Novus One on the uh, cap and some Renaissance Wax on here, polished up the, the metals fairly well, and then um, put a new sack on the pen as well. Um, the nib didn't require too much work. Um, I had to, did use a little bit of micro mesh. It, it had, it was very toothy from the left to right stroke. Um, I am going to do a writing sample of this pen. This nib is um, very much so different. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's an accountant nib, but it is definitely a very fine line um, and is a much stiffer nib um, than my other Eversharp pen that I have. So different writing style, not my favorite type of nib necessarily. Uh, my handwriting, I don't think suits it quite as well, but it's nice to have a nib that is different. Those finer nibs, as many of you know, are great for cheaper paper because um, they generally are, um, you're not going to have um, tons of feathering with them. But looking at the pen itself here, you'll notice it's got this kind of, it's got this amber um, cap, which I think is interesting. This one's not in the best condition, but I think it's, it's a nice looking cap. You've got a, a brown finial up here. Again, same thing as usual. It's got your double check mark here on the clip your Eversharp clip. It's your, your same clip as the other pen. Um, this clip is, is a little bit stiffer, um, but again, it, it works. Um, and then you've got information on the back again, where it says Eversharp incorporated patent made in USA. So that's pretty much the, uh, the cap itself. There's your um, cap band, of course. Now this one, and I'll kind of show the differences here. You remember in the last video when I was talking about how um, posting the pins, um, because of the way the cap posts, you have a lot of these pins that you'll see um, the plating worn down on your um, lever. And this one definitely is a pin that has suffered from that, from years of taking the cap off, posting it to where it posts over this lever and wears down the uh, gold plating. So... Obviously, that's something that was a little bit of a, a design flaw, if you could say. Um, but like we talked about before, when you have a tapered um, barrel like that, you know, stuff like that's going to happen. Um, taking the uh, cap off, this one actually comes off a little bit, a lot easier. Um, it's about a half turn. I wonder, and, and I would imagine that this cap is not the original cap to this barrel. Um, you know, I, I'm sure over years things get moved around and changed up. 
Um, and so I, I would imagine that this may not be the original cap. It definitely caps fine. It doesn't come off or anything like that. Um, I haven't had the pen inked up for an extreme amount of time, so I don't know how well it's going to work as far as keeping the, the nib uh, wet and, and keep it from drying out. But um, I know these feeds are really good, so we'll see. Um, as far as this section, it's basically the same pin. Um, again, your barrel tapers down into these, this thread portion. Threads are, are very shallow, so they don't bother you at all. And then at the end of the pin, it, it kind of, or the section, I'm sorry, it um, tapers down just slightly and then flares back out at the end. And I really like the way these pins fit in my hand with that kind of... Um, ergodynamic design where it's you know um very um streamlined it, it fits in my hand very well and i like the fact that the sections are a little bit more elongated so i can hold it at different points and i don't feel like i'm gonna be you know holding the pin way up here necessarily like i i do on some of my other pins now the nib is is basically the same nib as before um You'll notice you've got your Eversharp banner there, 14K, and then it says Made in USA across the bottom. Um, and <clears throat> to kind of show the two nibs together real quick, and you can just really just looking at them, you'll notice that there are some differences in that tipping material. You know, you see the one on the left, it's definitely, you can tell it is a much finer nib you see the one on the right, you've got more tipping material. You can tell that that's going to be a, a broader line just looking at it. Um, and, you know, the nib performs. I mean, it writes well, um, so I have no complaints as far as that goes. Um, you've got your, your same feeds on the back, um, you know. So, I mean, really, that's, that's the pen in essence. Um, I just kind of wanted to show it, you know. Uh, I would like to continue collecting these pens and... I, I really, really, you know, like, I like both of them. Obviously, this one for me, as far as uh, aesthetics and, and also just general writing, this is a pen that will probably stay inked up for quite a while. Um, this is a pen that I will definitely keep because it's much different. Um, the cap is, is I think, very, um, very unique. Um, but it's not a pen I'll probably write with excessively, necessarily. Um, so again, guys, really that's it. I'm not going to go into any more detail as far as the pins go. So up next, I'm going to do a writing sample and I'll do a comparison between both pins as far as the writing. You guys tell me which pin you like the most from a writing perspective and of course an aesthetic perspective. Maybe some people prefer this one more than this one. So guys, I will be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back and uh, we're going to go with the newbie first. <clears throat> All right. So as always, this is an ever sharp. Skyline. Um, and like I said, this is definitely a, a much finer nib. So we're going to go with a uh, fine nib. Um, and then the ink that I'm using is Waterman uh, Audacious Red, if I remember. And as you can kind of tell, the, the, the nib on this one, it, it does give a little bit more feedback. I mean, obviously, it's a much finer nib. Um, it's not, since I did the, use the micro mesh, it's not as unpleasant of a feedback. Um, that left to right stroke is, is much better, um, than what it was before. And there you have it. Um, as far as line variation, well, here's like no pressure at all. 
you're, you're, this is not going to be a pin that's going to give you a tremendous amount of line variation. Um, so, I mean, it, you know, like I said, it writes well, um, you know, and I, I'm pushing it a lot more to get that, that line variation that you see right there. So, again, it's not going to give you a ton of line variation. Um, as far as a, a wetness test, no, fairly wet. Um, and as I said, I mean, it, it definitely gives you more feedback, but the, the pen, um, it's an overall smooth writer, um, a little bit toothier because of it being a finer nib, but it definitely writes well. It does the job. Um, so no complaints from, from me as far as the overall writing. All right. Now for the other guy, which you guys have already seen a writing sample, but I figured it'd be kind of nice to have it, you know, side by side. can't spell all right All right, there you see it. As far as line variation with this one, there's no pressure, and then you're going to get a lot more line variation. So, you know, this nib definitely um, really puts out some nice line variation. Now, from a wetness perspective, I will say this pin is 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 much drier, um, just with no pressure riding. Now, once you put more pressure, obviously, on your downstrokes. Um, you'll notice you definitely get a much fatter line, but you also get more ink that is put out. Um, the pin up here is is a little bit more consistent as far as its ink, um, as far as it putting out ink and and the wetness of the uh, the nib. Um, but this this pin, even though this pin cleaned up and restored up really nice, I I don't know if you guys remember in my first review, I did have to replace the nib. Um, because the nib that was in here was damaged. Um, so I was able to, this nib is actually came from five star pins. Now it is the same nib, um, as far as the design that was originally in this pen. Um, but five star pins had one that they said was a, a moderate flex. Um, they had one that was a full flex that they of course sold right before I contacted them. Um, so I was able to get this nib and, and I really like it. I like the way it writes. It's very smooth. Um, obviously I like the fact that you can get some different line variation with it and it's a really enjoyable pen, but this one does the job. Um, this one is, is a, is a solid pen and, um, pretty consistent writer. Again, you're not going to get a lot of line characteristic or line variation, but I, I, I'm happy to have both pens. Um, there's some, of course, some other colors and different caps and variations out there that I'm really interested in. This is these pins are, are quickly becoming some of my um, favorite vintage pins. They're they're up there with my Parker Vacumatics as of right now. So guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, comment down below. Tell tell us which one you like the most. You know, may, I know some people really enjoy a nice. Uh, fine line. So you may like this pen from a writing perspective much better. Um, for me, aesthetic wise, this is the pen that I really enjoy. But this one, again, has some unique characteristics to it. Um, and I did have to restore both pens. So they have a special place in my heart regardless. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a great day. And I shall talk to you guys later. Bye bye.